These videos right here are some of the most hyper-realistic AI human scenes I've created. I've made humans act emotionally in ways where you'd never know it was generated by AI. I've created videos where people hold completely natural conversations. And in this clip, I managed to show human emotional progression without a single acting mistake. I even created a boxing match between two people and creating AI scenes where humans act realistic can be tough. Every minor detail that makes it look AI throws me off. Just like you, I've been testing literally every tool that comes out and the results are usually not good enough. But I found something that actually works. I've been testing Hilo's new 2.3 model and this thing is specifically built for hyper-realistic human movement. I decided to put this to the test by creating four different types of scenes, emotional acting, human interaction, dynamic motion, and emotional progression. Hiluo 2.3 actually understands human biomechanics. It knows how our muscles work, how we shift weight, how emotions show up in micro expressions. They trained this model specifically on human motion data. And the results are actually amazing. I'm talking about AI generated humans that move with actual weight and show genuine emotions. Let me take you through all the steps so that you know how to create these scenes yourself. And so I'm logging into Hiluo and I navigate to the video section to select text to video. Now I'm choosing Hiluo 2.3 from the model options and set it to 1080p resolution with a six second duration. Also make sure to put the quality on high. Now I'm starting off with testing the emotional acting. And to be honest, this is where most AI videos fall apart completely. Usually something in the face, such as the eyes or the lips are just slightly inhuman. So I wanted to test a subtle emotional transition, not just the basic expressions, but the actual journey between emotions that real humans go through. So for this, I created a scene of a woman reading a letter by a window and she is going to become emotional from it. This is the prompt that I created. As you can see, the result shows her expression actually transitioning naturally. Her eyes glisten with real tears forming and her facial muscles move exactly like a real person processing difficult news. I find it impressive to see how real this looks. I actually generated a couple similar results and they are all really solid. In this example, the woman becomes angry and starts screaming. And here's a similar scene where she's reading a letter. You can literally see her becoming emotional. The same goes for the next two scenes. The acting here feels incredibly human-like. Honestly, I wouldn't have guessed it was AI generated. The expressions, the timing, even the subtle movements, everything just feels real. The key to get a result like this is describing the emotional journey in detail. You can't just say sad woman reading a letter. You need to give the AI the emotional motivation behind every movement. Think about how emotions show up physically. Fear affects posture and breathing. Sadness changes how we hold our shoulders. Joy lights up our entire face, not just our mouth. Describe these physical manifestations in your prompts. Also, don't forget about the eyes. Pupils moving realistically as she reads. This tiny detail makes a huge difference. Most AI generated humans have dead staring eyes. By specifically mentioning realistic eye movement, you get much more lifelike results. Now, as you saw, my prompt was very detailed. And if you struggle to create prompts like that, then you can use tools like ChatGPT to explain your outcome and create a prompt for that. For our second example, we're going to create a video with human interaction. Now, as you know, most AI models can barely handle one realistic human, let alone two people interacting with proper timing and eye contact. Usually the results come out stiff and unrealistic. So this is where things get really challenging because you need both characters to feel natural while maintaining proper spatial relationships. So I've created three different scenes that progressively become more intense. The first is a cafe scene with two people having a conversation. And here's my complete prompt. The second one is a talking scene with this prompt. The third one is an argument. Now I find that their eye lines actually align well and they're looking at each other like real people do. When one person speaks, the other listens with actual body language. And even with the argument, it looks realistic. What made me succeed with these videos is describing the interaction rhythm in detail. You can see it in the other examples I created too. None of these examples feel awkward like I'm used to with most AI generated content. The challenge has always been having multiple people in a scene who move and act correctly. But now with these generations from Hilo, you can see that the connection, movement, and acting between people actually match. When I describe the complete flow, it gives the AI the conversational choreography so it understands the back and forth. Now pay attention in these examples to the environmental details too. Steam rises from their coffee, adding movement and atmosphere. 
These small details make the scene feel alive and authentic. Subtle reflections from streetlights shimmer on the window adds depth and realism to the background. There goes quite some detail into making this actually human-like, for example. When creating human interaction scenes, think about the relationship between your characters. Are they friends, strangers, romantic partners? This affects their body language, eye contact, and personal space. While these examples were still quite calming, the dynamic human motion scene will be challenging with the fast-paced movements. It's probably the toughest type of video to get right because the fast movement impact physics and realistic weight distribution. Most tools produce floating, weightless movement that immediately screams fake. To test this, I created a dance and boxing scene. For the dance scene, these two prompts created these videos. I'm genuinely impressed by how human-like their movements are, even in the scene with the woman in the sky, which isn't meant to be realistic at all. For creating the most realistic fight scenes in Hailuo, make sure to use this workflow. Go to camera shot, then open camera control and switch to free selection, then choose tracking shot. Using a tracking shot helps the camera follow movements more naturally, resulting in smoother action and the highest quality output possible. And for the boxing scene, I created this prompt. I even pushed the limits with a rooftop fight scene and here's the prompt. Now the dance scenes turn out great. While the surroundings are unreal, the actor stays very realistic. But for the fight scenes, you can see that they're a bit harder to get right. The boxing scene looks quite realistic, but the rooftop scene is more challenging. Still impressive, but harder to perfect. Sometimes you'll notice small details that feel less realistic, and some of the motion is close to human-like, but not quite 100% there yet. What it does get right, though, is the sense of weight behind every movement. When someone throws a punch, you can see the follow-through across their whole body. When they dodge, their movement carries real momentum. Even their clothes and hair react naturally to the physics of motion, something most AI tools ignore. To get this right, I include phrases in the prompt like natural weight and balance, real impact and follow through, and clothes and hair react to physics. This helps the AI understand that human movement has consequences and momentum. You want to avoid just describing the action. You need to describe how the action affects everything around it, such as water droplets fly through the air with each movement and footwork shows proper balance and weight distribution. These details help the AI understand the complete physics of the scene. Now the way I learned all this was by starting simple and building complexity. I started with basic movements like running, jumping or simple combat, then worked my way up to more complex choreography. Now for the next one we are going to test how the Hailuo model handles emotional transformation over time. Most AI tools can show one emotion, but transitioning smoothly between different emotional states is incredibly difficult. So I created a scene of a guy going from fear to determination and here's the complete prompt. You can see his jaw tighten a little, his eyebrows relax and his eyes focus straight ahead. The lighting even transitions from cold blue to warm golden as his emotional state changes. It's like watching a real actor perform this emotional arc in one continuous take. I even got these other results that also look like they literally could be from a movie. You can actually see the stress and emotion in their faces and across their whole bodies. That combination, facial expression and full body emotion is what makes these results so convincing. And that's essentially what I try to achieve. My key insight for this prompt is that emotions aren't just facial expressions, they're full body experiences. I really described how fear shows up in posture, breathing, muscle tension. Like, his breathing is heavy, eyes wide with fear, hands trembling slightly. This gives the AI multiple physical cues to work with. Then I focused on describing the gradual transformation. Gradually his posture straightens, his breathing slows, fear melts into focus. This progression helps the AI understand the timeline of emotional change. And then I made sure that the environmental elements can reinforce the emotional journey. With things like cold blue tones warm into soft golden hues, symbolizing inner strength, and a soft gust of wind moves his coat. These details support the emotional narrative and make the transformation feel more cinematic. Hylio just launched the new 2.3 update. The results on human movement are amazing. And the new Hylio 2.3 is definitely raising the bar with hyper-realistic human motion videos. If you want to try the new model yourself, I've put the link in the description. Go test it out. That's the complete system for creating hyper-realistic human scenes that actually look real. The technology is here right now and these techniques work consistently when you follow them properly. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.